Okay, in this video we're going to talk about angles versus arcs. Um, so let's start again with a circle and just recall that when we so we always start here at zero and we travel in the counterclockwise direction as positive. And for the unit circle we had the radius was one, recall, and when we traveled in this direction, if we stopped at this point here, we said that, I'm going to call that length x, we said x was the length of the arc section, and then we always had these in terms of pi, I mean not always, but pretty much. So we could have a pi over 3 distance, or a pi over 4 distance, or, or whatever. Occasionally we did something with a, with a number, like 1, oops, oops, that's not a 1, like uh, 1.43, and then what you did is you determined if this was pi over 2, that that equivalent is 1.57, and therefore a length of 1.43 would put you in quadrant 1. So we did a little bit with that. Um, just to refresh your memory on that. Alright, now we're going to do angles. So I'm going to start here with a circle. Okay, and I'm just going to draw some line segment there. And I'm going to extend that line segment there. and. I'm going to say that this is angle, and oh, by the way, this is a good time to tell you that we're going to use all sorts of Greek letters, uh, theta uh, for angle measurement, alpha, beta, gamma, there might be a few others, but all of those are pretty standard Greek letters that mean angle measure. So I'm going to say that this is angle theta right there, um, and then, of course, you know, there's your arc length that we did in the previous section. So I'm going to now draw a different circle, and I'm going to draw it much bigger. So it's a bigger circle. I'm still going to uh, start at zero and go in this direction, and I'm going to draw a line segment, and I'm trying to draw this line segment to be parallel with this line segment. So there, therefore this angle theta, those are the same two angles. If I can draw the theta way in here and draw the theta way in there, and if you had your protractor and if I drew this to scale, you would say that, yep, those are the same angles. However, even with my poorly drawn circle, can you see that the arc length is totally different? Just physically looking at it, it looks different. Okay, So uh, this brings us to the discussion of a radian, and a radian measure, uh, if I have the unit circle, and of course the unit circle, because it's a unit circle, has radius 1, and if this is 1 radian, that means that this distance here that I've already drawn in red is equal to this distance. And then radian 2, well we know radian is 1.57 up here at pi over 2, so if I just doubled this red one that puts me at about there, so this is 1 radian and another radian, so that would be a total of 2 radians, and then if I continued that over here like this, this would be another radian, and I'm just under 3, and when we get over here you know that is pi, which you also know is approximating 3.14. So the radian means the angle measure and the arc length, and those are for a unit circle of 1. So that's what the definition of radian is, and by the way we just abbreviate it as rad, uh, rad or RAD, uh, radian measure. Um, angles of course are going to be in degrees. Um, there's a great description of this in your text on page, let's see, I think it's 161, 
Um, and that's the end of this lesson, and the next one I'm going to show you how to convert between the two.